Hello, I'm Sarah of Communication Liberation. I'd like to share with you today two um, things that people have said to me quite a bit that I find the least helpful. Um, one is cheer up, which tends to make me feel uh, generally more fed up. <laughs> and the other is calm down, which again has the opposite effect makes me feel maybe more agitated than I was before and talking to people that I work with about their experience of stammering I find a similar kind of pattern there so for example people may say when they're told to take their time you know if somebody say on a reception desk or that sort of thing says take your time um, it actually has the the opposite effect actually increases that sense of time pressure um, and is actually not helpful at all. So, um, yeah, so I guess I've been thinking that in, in stammering therapy, it seems like people, people often arrive in therapy um, with quite a bit of heavy baggage, um, baggage of unhelpful advice that they've been given either by family, friends or, or even um, non-specialist speech therapists, um, things that they've seen on the internet, all kinds of things. And, and so um, part of the process in therapy is to take a look at, at some of that baggage that's brought to, to the sessions and, and to sort of decide what to let go of maybe that um, advice that has maybe been weighing people down in an unhelpful way uh, things such as you know take a deep breath um, deeply unhelpful in the vast majority of cases and yet very commonly uh, it's something that is said to people so so then I, I was thinking about well um, how to how to cope with this advice that, that may or may not be helpful that comes your way and I think the first thing is to acknowledge really what the challenge is about that situation so for example um, going up to a reception desk and, and um, what's difficult about that situation and to be really clear about what you find helpful and what you find unhelpful in that situation sort of acknowledge that as the first thing and then secondly when somebody does give some advice like take your time to to see if you can kind of take it as it's meant um, it, it, it's easy to to kind of react to it but but essentially where that person is coming from is you know it, it, it's kind of well-meaning um, they don't really know what else to say and and so to kind of take it as it's meant that can be helpful um, and then thirdly I guess uh, to um, to kind of if, it, if it's if it's more detailed advice say from a family member or a friend to to sort of think in terms of thanking them for their advice um, and but then looking inside to see what's helpful and what's what's true for you so you're neither completely rejecting it but nor are you kind of taking it all on board in a sort of unquestioned way um, and I guess you know in these video blogs that what I'm aiming to do is to share things that that I found helpful other people have found helpful um, but I guess it's important to say well don't you know, don't take my word for it, don't take their word for it. Um, instead, kind of with an open mind, check out the advice or the suggestion um, for yourself from your own direct experience. And in that way, you can learn what's genuinely helpful for you, rather than anybody else. So I hope this has been helpful to you in some way and um, you can find more of these video blogs on my Facebook page and on the video page of my website and you'll find the details below. Bye bye for now.